In video 3, we look at how overlays can be assigned actions so that they trigger something else to happen. Actions include making another overlay appear, where our first overlay acts like a button, or triggering a video to come up. In Erasmus Studio, we've completed our overlays. We've put a video here, we've put four shapes here that will act as buttons. Our first job is to make sure the video that will be triggered is invisible to start with. Click it, we can quickly locate it here, make sure it's initially hidden. I want the camera image to act like a button. So we locate the camera image, and I want to add actions to this. When the overlay is tapped, I want to, now you see here there's a lot of choices. Start an overlay. Add it. Now this will show me the overlays I've already added. I want the trigger video. Done. And then we go down the bottom, you can't see it on the screen, and hit save. Action group one, when overlay is tapped, start an overlay video. We want to be able to stop the video. So we add a second action when overlay is double tapped. We can choose lots of other things, such as when it's finished it fades away. Stop an overlay. Which overlay are we stopping? The one we've already started. Done. And then go right down the bottom of the screen, save it. What we've now done is when we click here, this video will play until we double click that. I will do that now for all four of these overlays that act like buttons to complete this aura. We click on the camera image and our video starts in this completed Erasmus. The video will continue playing until we double click on the camera.